I just closed a transaction with a client in California who is a repeat client in Washington, but they've recently decided they want to purchase something in California, which is very exciting. The question, how did I do that? I am not licensed in the state of California. So what that meant is that I needed to partner with an agent who was. Now, the way that we do this, when you're working with an agent from another state and when you are referring your client to that agent, we use what is called a referral agreement. And I don't think this is very clear in the world of real estate. There are a few things that are pretty well discussed, like when your agent is going to refer you to another agent in another state, they are going to vet that agent, right? We're going to call, we're going to make sure that the energy, the way they run their business is similar to ours so that we know that as a client, if you loved us, you're going to love them, right? It's, it's a, a way to help make sure that, that partnership makes sense. Number two, we're there to advocate for you. We set up what's called a referral agreement. We write down, hey, this is my client. I'm sending them to you so that that agent keeps us in the loop. Sometimes it means that we are part of the discussions every time they hop on the phone, but other times it simply means I'm here to support my client when they just want a little extra emotional support. Because again, they've already done that business with me. They know me, they trust me. I'm there providing my time and expertise and then passing off the legal negotiations and contract writing to the agent who is serving them in another state. So to, to be very transparent about the way that these work is that I know as the agent who is referring my client to another agent, I am going to be part of that transaction, whether I'm writing the contract or not. I'm most likely going to be on some of the phone calls between the agent and the buyer to really help them understand what is happening. I'm going to be providing emotional support oftentimes. Sometimes that client already has the trust set up with me. So I'm on the phone talking them through what I see in the inspection report, or maybe I'm just providing again, emotional support to be able to make things clearer, give them some calm, right? It can be a very emotional process. So the way that we make sure that expertise and time is compensated is we write it into this referral contract. As the agent who is referring to the other agent, they will agree to take on that client to serve them to the best of their ability and to also serve them at a high level because not only do they have the client to serve, but they also have an agent whose trust they are trying to earn and honor. So we write what's called a referral agreement, which gives them the access to the client, but it also means that the referring agent is compensated for their time. That negotiation is something that is between the two agents, but it is part of the real estate world and it is how we as agents can make sure our clients get connected with the best people in whatever state they're looking to buy while also making sure that our time, effort, and energy is compensated.